Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today, yeah, you're right, we're talking our Anycubic Cobra S1. What are we talking about? Well, we're going to be talking about does the bed mesh actually work? Why? Well, I've been trying to print these things, right? And they look, I, I've got the Z figured out, and that's just, that's a phenomenal first layer. You know, I've got a cut. You can see the color changers. It's only two two millimeters thick, and you start a, a color change every layer after one mil after one millimeter. Actually, you stop after one millimeter, and then it's all black. But regardless, right? I want to be able to print four of these at a time, but I can tell you already. I just tried it, and it doesn't look good. Let's go that way. So I can tell you already that this is not good, but we're going to look at the better ones, and I, I can tell you that these two are better. Yeah, this one's good. Good uh, first layer. Good top layer. This one here, good top layer. You can see the Z is starting to get a little funky, and... Just want to try. Double? Are you kidding me? On your plate, we're... Where it says double sided PEA PEI plate. If you print over the top of that, it picks it up. Boy, that's really funny. But Z problems over here. See the line showing? But so that's not sellable. Thanks very much, any cubic. That's 40 cents down the drain. This one, great first layer, right? Again, a little bit of Z line starting to show on the outer edge. But this is why it's unsellable. What is that? What is that the nozzle dragging through too far? Like, ah, oh gosh, so frustrating. You, I can't sell these. And people actually want these things. So another wasted 40 cents. And again, so this one's got a good first layer. But the, the top layer, again, any cubic if you're listening. What is going on? That's a dollar twenty wasted that I can't sell in order to get one good print. And I don't want to print one at a time because, like I said, there's a lay, there's um a filament change every layer for the orange and the black for the first five layers. I, I, I got to be able to print four. So we're gonna we're gonna get going here. We're gonna see does the the bed mesh calibration work or does the slicer bed mesh calibration work how are we going to do that well i'm going to go ahead i'm going to get this all set up and um i'm i'm gonna i was going to say you know my printer is working well i'm going to do this for you but it's not working well because it's a gosh darn any cubic cobra uh but anyway what i'm going to do is i'm gonna make my bed very unlevel and then we're going to watch the uh, Z motor and see what happens. So, fingers crossed. Let's get this set up. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. Monetize this channel. Maybe I can buy some filament to replace any cubics. Oh. All right, here we go. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to use some painter's tape on the back of our sheet here to make one side higher. I can get it. Make one side higher. This is three layers and then kind of whatever. Anyway, this side of the plate is higher than the rest. So we're going to pop this in. And what we're going to do is we are going to calibrate a bed mesh. Auto leveling. There we go. Do you want to prove the hotbed? Yes. We're going to let this thing go. Probe the hotbed. And then we're going to print this over here, which is just a spiral, five millimeters wide, one millimeter high in the whole bed plate. And we're going to watch close up here to see if the Z is moving as we get to this side, which is higher than that side. So let's hit the stop button and wait for this to do its thing. All right, so our bed leveling is done. We're going to run... This print, we just leveled it on the on the printer, so we're not going to run it here. We're going to start plates. 
Wait for it to send over. Wait for those disconcerting beeps. And then we're going to zoom in on one of the motors for one of the Z-screws. Right there. Now we should see that move as it goes to print. So let me get you set up and we're going to come back here when it starts. You go try and get some more light out of this. I don't know how. Anderson, I do not see nothing new. Have you? Wait, please look at you. Can't see where it flies like so. Yeah, maybe when it's moving. You see that? Mm. Yeah, it's ever so slight, isn't it? So yeah, you can see that was a big news in that right there. It's on the it's on the high spot right now. I don't know it's going to the lower spot, so it should go down. Now it's coming back up to the high spot. There it goes down. Now it should come up right it. Well, well, I'll be. All right, so I'm going to zoom out here. All right, so the bed level seems to be working when I do it through the screen up here. All right, so I did, and let's back you up here a little bit, raise you up. When I did the bed level through the calibration screen here, that's working. We're going to stop this print. And then we're going to run the same exact thing, but we're going to do bed leveling on each print to see if it makes a difference. So let me get that set up. I just got to show you this because it's satisfying. <laughs> All right. So we got the bed cleaned off. I'm not too worried about it sticking or not. I'm more interested in that going up and down. So now we're going to do the same exact thing, except this time we're going to print it with the bed leveling shacked on. So we're going to start that. We're going to send it over, wait for the disconcerting beeps. I'm going to zoom you in into the same exact spot. We're going to see what happens, but this is going to go through its warm up and bed leveling. So I'll bring you back. Okay, we are printing. Let's zoom back in and then see what happens. All right, so this is letting a bed level print. Where are they like the force in the suit? Right, it's on the high spot near no point. Now it's going to your lower spot. It seems backwards. This should be going wrong. Mm -hmm. Now it should be coming high. Eh? Okay. No time to That doesn't look right. See if I can. Can you just a little bit? Because over here. So I think of a few. This is the high side of the blue two case. So you need to get Now I'm focus. As it's over here, you would be... I do. Lower. And over here, it would be a falling. Huh. Give this another... Uh, Coming back around to the outside. Then we're going to the worry spot. Nothing's happening.
and that that should be lower, and now it should come up high. And they, and it doesn't seem to be moving. Just ever, it did right there, then it moved right back up. Yeah, there's a lot of movement there. No, she's still coming up. No, what I don't know. It seems to be working uh, in both. You can't even stop this part. You don't need to do the whole thing. All right, so it seems to, I don't know, it seems to be working. I don't see a reason to do one over the other. I don't know. What are your thoughts on this? I know people have been saying it doesn't work. That was clearly working to me. I don't know. Give me your thoughts. Appreciate it.